My favorite physical thing about you are your eyes. And the first time I searched them, I was met with what seemed like an unending mystery of who you were. I yearned to understand why your gaze was so gentle, how your touch fell to run me away but make me feel so comfortable. I knew you were the one the night you asked to pursue me. That was only the beginning to the many prayers and much needed healing that God has done for you. I love you for all that you are, even on your bad days, even through your tough seasons. Your title was friend first, and that is what you me. The first of many prayers that God answered me. I vow to love you always. To see you in that dress thinking, oh yeah, that's me. Can I have this one dance? Can you do it for me? Bone of my bone, flesh to my flesh, you know the rest, you and me. I know that it gets better. The reality that we even made it this far in the middle of a pandemic is, has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with it. Not just on the practical end, but maturity wise. As well. If you would have told me that I would be getting married in a year, on July 31st, 2019, I would probably laugh at you. The speed at which God matured and refined me is amazing. He did it for multiple reasons, but one of them was, to, was so that I could embody the call of Ephesians 5.25, to love you as Christ loved the church. And the question is, how did Christ love the church? He laid his life down for it. As your husband, I would be disobeying God and dishonoring you if I didn't lay my life down. So from this day, I vow to die for you, to my flesh, to my will, to my way, to what I want to do or feel like doing. I'll do it all for you. such a time as this that you've joined them together and called them for your purpose and for your name's sake. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Give and receive rings. In light of this, I pronounce you husband and wife together. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Devin, you can kiss your bride.